So you guys just set up your NukeDX server on your local network. Now, how do we make this public for your friends and anyone else to join in your Minecraft server? Well guys, that process is known as a port forwarding, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to port forward your server. So let's get right into it. So yo yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It's me, your boy TechnoT, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to port forward your NukeX server. Now, if you have not seen part one and set up your NukeDX server, you can click the I card up here or you can click the link in the video description below to set it up. But for those who have, we're going to port forward your server to make it public. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to stop your server. So go to the server terminal and type in stop and hit enter and it'll stop and save your server and hit enter again to close it. And we will minimize out of our NukeDX files. And what I want you to do now is go to your search and type in CMD, right click and run as administrator. And then from here, what you're going to need to do is you're gonna to need to type in IP config exactly like this and hit enter. And then from here, it'll give you a whole lot of different information. The only information we are gonna be caring about is the IPv4 and the default gateway. The default gateway, we're only gonna use it to log into your router and your IPv4 address is the address we are gonna be using for port forwarding. So make sure you write down your IPv4 address somewhere because we are gonna be using it in the second half of this video. Okay, so before we proceed further into the video, I'd like to mention one thing. Do not share out your public IP or your IPv4 or literally anything from this page because this is pretty confidential information. That's why in the later half of this video, I'm going to be explaining how to get a custom IP so you can share this server out with everybody. Now, once you've gotten your default gateway, we're gonna go to your web browser of choice. I'm gonna be using Google Chrome. And what I want you to do is type in your default gateway. So for mine, it was 192.168. whatever. whatever. And then hit enter and it's gonna bring you to your router login page. This is where you're gonna to need to look at the back of your router, at the sticker of the router, and it'll give you the login information. I already know mine, so I'm gonna log in. And once you're here, we are inside of our router's control panel. Now what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to click on advanced, advanced setup, and port forwarding slash port triggering. And then from here, we are going to make sure port forwarding is selected, and we're gonna click on add custom service. Now we're gonna give this service a name. I'm gonna call it Nukit X. And then for the protocol, make sure the protocol is set to TCP slash UDP. Okay, so for the internal and external ports, make sure that they are always 19132 because this is the default one that Minecraft has. So we're gonna do the same for the internal port as well. So 19132. And for your internal IP address right here, we are gonna type in my IPv4. So yeah, once you've typed in your IPv4 to where it says internal IP address or IPv4, we are gonna hit apply. And as you can see, the service has been added on my port forwarding list. So once you've done this, make sure you save any changes to your router and we basically have the port forwarding process done. However, we do not have a custom IP yet. Now this is where I'm gonna be showing you how to make a custom IP so you can actually share your server out with friends and literally anybody else. So open up a new tab and type in what is my IP. And then right here, it should give you your public IP. This is the IP of your server as of right now. But in order to make this a custom IP so you can send this out to everybody and let everybody join, I'll show you how to do that. So there'll be a link down in the video description below and it's labeled no IP. If you click that link, it should bring you to the no IP website, create an account with them. And when you do, you should be greeted with the dashboard. Here we are at the dashboard and we are gonna create our Minecraft custom IP. So click on dynamic DNS, click on create host name. We're gonna call this techno nation. And then we're gonna do dot DNS dot net. You can change this. This is the whole bunch of free domains that they have and put your public IP, the one that I just had you guys Google up right here and hit create host. So yeah, guys, right here, this is my Minecraft IP. I can share this out with everybody. But yeah, this is my server address right here. And as you can see, it says right here, expires in 30 days. Here's what happens. So if you have a free account with them, so here's the thing, you know how it says expires in 30 days right here? Well, this custom IP, since I'm having a free account right here, I can host it up to 30 days. But let's say I wanted to extend that period. Well, I can actually confirm or 
make a new one by the time this one expires so you can make as many as you want except they just expire in 30 days so you can update it or you can confirm it to make sure that it stays on for another 30 days but yeah it's literally just that and then once you've done this just start up your minecraft server so i'll just and like that guys anybody can join our server with that specific ip that i just made and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this was helpful drop me a sub drop me a like and thank you all for helping me reach 100 subs it's been amazing and i'll catch you all in the next one bye guys